Hey there, Bridge family, it's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about five different types of passion. Five different types of passion. It's gonna be simple and straightforward, and I pray it will help you to take a closer look at your life and the mission field around you. Those five types of passion, think of them on a sliding scale. There's great, good, so-so, bad, and wicked. Great passion, which would be aligned with the mission of God. It's what brings glory to God. Good passion is that which is in line with a ministry for God. The so-so passion is that which would be neutral. You know, we say maybe, maybe good, maybe bad, maybe neutral. Then you have the bad passion. This is the passion that really represents the idols in somebody's life. And of course, there's the wicked passion that is revealed through the lives of the wicked people. And the wicked passions reveal the various forms of evils that come out of their lives. Now, you can have different categories of passion. For example, uh, when we look at the so-so passions, the maybes, that which may be good, may be bad, or may be neutral. You could have a passion, for example, for music. May be good, may be bad, may be neutral. You may have a passion for exercise. May be good, you're taking care of your body. May be bad, because now it's a form of vanity and pride for you. Or may be neutral. Maybe it's just something you do instinctively because it makes you feel better. Not good, not bad. It's okay. Well, in last week's sermon, looking at Psalm 119, verses 113 to 120, we saw six categories of passion. We saw hope. We saw fighting. We saw love. We saw hate. We saw fear, and we saw faith. I want you to take this sliding scale of great, good, so-so, bad, and evil, or wicked, and assess your personal passions. The good news is that if you'll get your first and most important passion to bring glory to God in line, you are most likely, not guaranteed, but you are most likely to be healthy in the other categories. I just want to caution you, for example, with good passions. You may have a passion for the unborn. You may have a passion for helping others in some other form of ministry, and that's good. But don't ever let it eclipse the great and overarching passion to bring glory to God. You wouldn't be the first person to turn a good ministry into a bad idol because you let it get ahead of your passion for Christ. I pray this helps you, gives you food for thought, and will help to equip you and build you into the blessing that God has for you as you find and fulfill his call on your life. Amen and amen.